Hi, welcome to Sparkling Memories, a place where you can build healthy relationship with food pairs and yourself. And today we're going to make some chicken shish kebabs. And of course, it's going to be so simple. Anyone can do it once you have the right ingredients. You have your stick that you soak. I say about 20 minutes or half an hour. And then you have your veggies and you have your chicken and seasoning and sauce. So let's get started. So here I'm showing you where I have my sticks already soaking. They're very large in size. Just plain water. And here we have a chicken. It's actually still cleaning. I clean mine with vinegar and water. And here we have the ingredients for the first batch because I'm making three. The first one we have is this honey barbecue sauce, crushed red bell peppers, well, peppers, paprika, chipotle and roasted garlic, and the chili seasoning. That's for the first batch. And on to the next. It's going to have in thyme, roasted garlic and herb, real lemon juice, you could use actual lemon, honey deja mustard, and maize garlic paste. That's for the second batch. First one, second one. So let's go ahead and put a dry season into our container. When I say batches, I'm going to put like five chicken tenderloins in one container and dry season on them. And then do the same step for the second one and the third. So I'm just going in here with the first batch of seasoning. This is the chili pepper that's going in right now. This is the chipotle roasted garlic season from McCormick. Very good. Crushed red peppers. I want to lay heat with mine because with the barbecue sauce is nice, but I let it lay heat, so I added the crushed red peppers to it. That's the first batch for the five. And then the second batch for the next five that I'm going to make, well, it actually was six because it was an even amount of chicken. So, same thing, going with the dry seasonings. Going in with roasted garlic and herb, put a generous amount and put to your tasting. Cause it all depends on you and how you like your stuff. For me, I go according to how it looks and how much I'm putting into the one container. This is the time that's going into the container right now. We have the maize garlic paste. Oh yeah, honey deja mustard. I gotta put some of that in there too. Give it a little bit extra. Because I know a lot of people do mustard chicken. I like to use the honey deja mustard. So this is the red lemon juice. You want to go ahead and put that on. But that and the more for dry seasoning. So once you put on the stick, you have the veggies. I use onion and red bell pepper. Green bell pepper and yellow bell pepper. And these are the chicken. I do it various different ways. Some sticks has on just veggies. Some just the chicken. Some are chicken and veggie. Then veggie again. Some are veggie, chicken, then veggie. So here are the ingredients for the third batch. Those are the sauces I put on just before the finish baking. So I have the garlic, the onion powder, the cumin, and the adobo with the salt. This is what I used to do the third batch of the chicken. That one had in six pieces of chicken tenderloins as well. So at this point, you want to put it in the oven. I start mine at 320 and I let them on for about 20 minutes. Then I turn them, I put on the butter spray so they don't get too dark too quickly. And as I turn them, I add my little sauce. So I add the barbecue sauce and a sweet chili sauce because each one is going to taste a little different and the remaining amount is going to take anywhere from 10 to about 15 minutes when you add your sauce till next time is me sitting around for the sparkling memories bye bye